Quasi here. And in today's video, I want to share with you how you can stop trying to force yourself to believe things, stop trying to convince yourself to believe things and effortlessly believe them so that you can start to program yourself very, very easily and not have to force yourself to, you know, force feed some idea down your throat that you don't really believe to be true. This video is going to be a goal setting exercise that's going to, I believe, be very useful for you for 2022. And uh, by the end of this video, I'm going to share with you three main keys that I learned last year and how I actually started to set my goals and how these three things have influenced you know, how I set my goals and how I go about them and how I execute them and also how I iterate on these goals as well. So please stick around to the very end of this video. I do think this will be super, super valuable for you. So before I go ahead and get started with this video and to quickly announce that you can now access our exclusive email list. If you scroll down to the pinned comments down in the description box below or even in the uh, pinned comments down below, you will have a link over there and you can click on it, put your first name and your email address and you'll get access to our weekly newsletters. I send three of them every single week and uh, I can share stuff that I can't really share on the YouTube channel. So I would definitely encourage you to be a part of it. Scroll down, click on it and uh, I'll see you there. So without further delay, let's go right ahead and get started with this video. Today I want to talk to you about how to stop forcing yourself to believe things and what actually allows you to readily accept new ideas that you're programming yourself with. Why is this important? So if you're someone who's, you know, been stuck at a certain revenue level in your business or, you know, you've been stuck in a certain uh, pattern in your life and you've always wanted to make a change from this pattern, but what you've noticed is you don't believe that you're good enough to do something. You're not good enough to make more money or you're not good enough to be in that relationship or follow this pattern. And it always inevitably leads to some form of self-sabotage. Then this is exactly what's going to be helpful for you, right? So what most people try to do is when they think of something that they would want to get to, they immediately try to force themselves to believe that they're able to achieve it. And how they do that is by, you know, I've seen a lot of people do affirmations. I've seen a lot of people try to visualize like and just force themselves to believe it. Right. So if you're someone who's making, let's say, 5K a month and you want to get to 50K a month in your business, what they do is they're like, all right, you know, I'm making 50K a month. They're like 50s everywhere, like 50s in the mirror. And while that's inspiring and, you know, maybe it does work, I don't think that's the most effective solution because I've been there and I've done it and it hasn't worked as well for me as certain other things have. And uh, that's what exactly what I'm going to share with you in today's video. Why that hasn't worked for me, by the way, is, you know, you start to notice that this mind, it doesn't work in like, you can't just program it with whatever you want. It has its own preconceived notions, its own ideas. And it's almost like a, like a logical battle. It's like a game of chess with the mind. When you introduce a new idea, it doesn't readily want to accept it. You have to disarm it somehow. It has to let its guard down. What we do is we try to force these new ideas like, yes, you know, I've been making 5k a month my whole life for the past three years, but all of a sudden now this year, I'm going to make 50k a month. Like why, why would you believe that? Right? There's no reason for you to believe that unless the mind sees proof. The mind always needs some sort of evidence in order to believe something. Please reflect on this for a moment. You can tell yourself, that you're a 50k a month business owner or you want, or you can simply show proof to the mind that you are a 50k a month business owner. Which do you think is more effective? Just constantly telling yourself like, yes, you know, I'm, I'm some 50k a month business owner or just like seeing that, wait a second. I dude, I'm making 50k a month. I, I am a 50k a month business owner, right? So it's more effective to actually see proof because the truth, the proof is it's self-evident. It, it's unquestionable. Like, I can't doubt that this pen is here, right? Unless I just like start hallucinating. So that's exactly what I'm talking about. What we want to do is no longer have, leave any room for doubt. Because if you leave a room for doubt and you try to tell yourself something, there's always going to be the other side to it where, wait, maybe I'm not a 50k a month business owner because I don't know, I've been telling myself, but I don't really see it. So where you try to convince yourself, there's always going to be some room for doubt. But if there is proof, complete knowledge of it, then there is no room for doubt. It's just there. It's self 
self-evident. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how to do that, how to make the truth self-evident, how to make the proof just right there all in your face. So let's begin with that case study, okay? And uh, then I'll demonstrate the exercise. All right, so I just had to rotate my camera so you can see the board better. But let's go right ahead and get started with this case study. Now we're gonna begin with this case study of that 5K a month business owner who's aspiring to become a 50K a month business owner. Maybe this is you in 2022, you wanna do this with your business. Let's look at how we can set that goal so you can clearly see it, so you actually believe that it's doable for you and so you can just put one foot in front of the other and not doubt yourself and not resist it every single moment. So here's the case study. Case study. Now, I do hope you can see this. Okay, maybe you can't see that. So, current, you're currently at 5K, let's say, and goal is 50K. Right, you can see that. And let's say you sell two products. Right? This is just a completely hypothetical business. You know, you sell two products, P1 costs 1K, P2 costs 2K. So what we're doing right now is we're setting goals for how we can see and conceive the 50K a month being manifested or how you would become a 50K a month business owner. Now, what we're doing in this exercise is we're going to get clarity. We're going to clearly jot down the steps that we would want to take, how we would want to get to that 50K a month. Now, reality doesn't necessarily, it's not necessarily going to take this path. It may or it may not. It may take a completely different path. How you, you might even completely switch your business to something else. But we need somewhere to start. We need a starting point, okay? And this is why we do this exercise. Because if you don't have a starting point, then you're just gonna go all over the place. So let's say P1 is 1K and P2 is 2K. And what you've decided is, you know, you're gonna make, let's say 50K a month in profit and you have fixed expenses of 10K a month in your business. And, you know, let's say you want to, you've decided you wanna sell 40 units of P1, which would give you 40K. And you want to sell 10 units of P2, which is 2K, and you would make 20K. And currently you sell maybe uh, two units of P2 and one unit of P1, and you make 5K a month, right? Simple math. So this tallies up to 60K in revenue, minus 10K in expenses, which we decided that was your expense, just to keep it realistic, which is 50K in profit. Right? So you've set this as the goal that you would like to strive to reach this 40 10 unit split in these products that you have. Now, in this exercise, we've literally just mapped out how we would want to reach this 50K a month profit goal. Now, in your business right now, you definitely have this. You have a product that you sell and you sell a certain unit of it per month. You just need to look at what goal you have and reverse engineer how you want to get to that. Doing something like this is so incredibly powerful that, you know, just, just doing it, it the clarity, the, the simple, the sheer clarity of it will get you excited to show up to work every single day, right? So please think about it. We don't need confidence when we're clear about something. You don't need some artificial form of confidence. You don't need to huff and puff your chest and be like, yeah, you know, I'm going to achieve this today. No, you just... You have a roadmap, you can clearly see the path that'll lead you to there. And so you put one foot in front of the other and just get to it. So confidence, certainty, belief, they're all byproducts of clarity. This is a very crucial point. Clarity leads to confidence. I want you to remember this. So in every single area of your life where you feel that you're not confident, you're not certain in your ability, in your mind, you just can't see how this would be done. You just can't see how this would be possible. Even if you were speaking on stage and you had stage fright, 
in your mind, you just couldn't see yourself speaking on stage. So in your mind, begin to see yourself speaking on stage. Just begin to visualize it. So even in that scenario, that visualizing, visualizing all of these, they have some merit, right? So that was really the point of this video. In, it was just understanding that in order to have some form of confidence or have certainty in something, don't seek confidence, certainty or belief, seek clarity, seek to get clear. That's why in our program, the very first thing we do is get clear about where we would like to take our lives, what we would like to achieve, where we would like to live, how we would like to spend a day in this ideal life and who we would like to become, right? When you do all of these things, when you get clarity, by the way, as I mentioned before, it doesn't have to be this way. You might have different unit splits that you actually do to hit the goal. You might even completely change the business. It might be a different business altogether. But if we don't have a starting point, as I mentioned, then you just, you're just going to have paralysis. You're just going to get in your head and just self-sabotage all the time. So we need momentum. Okay, We need a goal to strive towards and we need momentum. And along with that, there'll be different adjustments that'll happen. As long as you have trust that whatever's happening is happening to benefit you, then that's exactly what's going to happen. So now I want to leave you with the three keys that you need to help you effectively set goals and how I set goals. So the number one key is clearly define, obviously. Clearly define what is wanted. Clearly define what's wanted with complete disregard to whether or not it's possible. Disregard possibility. So I'm going to give you an example. When I started off in my journey, I began visualizing me in my ideal life in that mansion in LA or California or somewhere up in the hills, waking up next to the partner of my dreams doing what I love every day and, you know, walking downstairs, going to the car and I forget the car keys and it's a really nice car. And then my wife or partner, she throws the keys to me. So that, that's like a little fun scene that I used to visualize all the time. And I didn't back then when I was visualizing this scene, I was working like a summer internship and I was, I, I was supposed to go into a nine to five job. I had no idea how that would happen. Right? So, I just kept visualizing it anyways. I kept defining what I wanted. It was almost like a daydream at that point. And I completely disregarded the possibility. And when I did that, then the path that would lead me there started to pop up in my subconscious. One day I got the idea of, okay, start a YouTube channel. Another day I got the idea of, okay, well, look, this person reached out for coaching. Wait, maybe you could do coaching. And I had no idea back then. Like if on day one, you asked me that this is what I would do, I had no idea. I just went with what was coming up in the moment and what felt right, what I could commit to, right? So that's number one, clearly define what is wanted and disregard whether or not it's possible. Number two, define the known procedure. Define the known parameters. What do I mean by this? Okay, so what I mean by defining known parameters is simply we looked at this case study of a business that has two products, one's 1K and one's 2K. Well, the known parameters are, I would like to sell 10 units of P2 and 40 units of P1. Then I get 60K and then minus 10K for expenses, then I get a net of 50K. That's how I become a 50K a month business owner. That is the known parameters. So in your life where you are right now, you already have a known parameter. If you don't know how you would get to that mansion in LA. So in my example, at that moment, I didn't know what would lead me to like, I didn't even know how much money I needed to have that mansion in LA and do all of those things. But I knew that I could take a step forward if I just started my YouTube channel if I put myself out there. That's all I had to do in that moment. That's all I knew I had to do. And so I did it. This, if this is what you know, then do it. If this is completely out of your reach, 
then a simple exercise in personal development will suffice. Well, I'm very shy right now and I know that in my ideal goal scenario, I'm more confident. And in order to move a step forward towards that, I need to start getting out of my comfort zone a little more. So I commit to every you know, Monday, I will strike up a conversation with a stranger or every morning, I will strike up a conversation with a stranger. Simple things like that. It's when you commit to these actions and these plans, the known parameters, that you start to get more ideas on how you would move forward, right? This is why clarity is so powerful. Like people think that you need some proven action plan. Like I was talking to one of my buddies the other day and, you know, he was redoing his program and he was doing a live webinar and he kept asking me questions. I'm like, dude, you're getting in your head about this. You're already spontaneous. You already know what to do, but you're not trusting yourself. You're, you know, you're not clear about what it is, like you're not owning what it is you can do best, but you're just trying to copy what this mentor is teaching you just blindly, right? So everyone has their own unique path and you can only find that own unique path that will best work for you and lead you to the top of the mountain if you start to define these things for yourself and operate from principles rather than following some routine formula, okay? So that's number two, defining known parameters. And number three, this is a very crucial part, set guidelines and not deadlines. Not deadlines. What do I mean by this? A lot of people, when they set goals, what they do is they'll quickly set a deadline. Like, oh, by January 1st, 2023, I will achieve this. I'll have $100,000 in my bank account. And when people set goals like that, what primarily happens is they build up too much attachment and too much importance. And they start acting from a place of scarcity. They're like, I have to do this or else I'll die, right? And when I used to set goals like this and I used to set deadlines, I would never achieve them. I would just put unnecessary pressure or too much pressure on myself. Don't get me wrong, pressure is good, but too much of it is bad. So set guidelines. And what I mean by guidelines are you set a deadline. This is a personal deadline, but you know that if you don't achieve it by this date, it's not a big deal. You will, you're 100% intent on achieving it by this date. You're going to do your best to achieve it by this date. But if you don't, it's not the end of the world. You're going to keep striving. So with that, I conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. I sincerely hope this was helpful. Let's do a quick recap of what we talked about today. We, today we talked about why it's so difficult for you to believe that you can actually achieve your goals. Why it's so difficult for you to believe that you can change, that you can be someone that you want to be. And why it's so difficult to do all those things is because, frankly, you're not clear. You're just not clear about what you want. If you were clear about what you wanted, it wouldn't seem so difficult to achieve. There is not a clear path in the mind that links your current situation to that desire, that goal situation. That's why we did this exercise where we started to define the known parameters, which is number two of the three keys that I shared with you, which is coincidentally also what most people struggle with the most. And what we did here was we looked at a business owner who is currently at 5K a month and they want to get to 50K a month. And we just did a simple reverse engineering of, okay, well, how many units do I need to sell of each in order to get to that? And how many units of each do I want to sell? Maybe you don't want to sell too many P2s because you know that it'll make your life hectic and you don't want to make your life hectic. You know, you want to run an enjoyable business and you want to wake up excited to work with your customers, not just push a ton of product. And finally, we concluded that it's not confidence, certainty, and belief that we're directly after, directly seeking those things brings nothing. But when we look at what causes confidence, certainty, and belief, it's basically clarity. When we get clarity, you know, the byproduct of that is all of those things that we described. So why not seek to look at the most powerful domino that once we tip it, everything else falls into place. That's exactly what we did with this exercise. 
And lastly, I also shared with you three keys to help you define your goals better. And number one, it's clearly define what is wanted, disregarding whether or not it's possible. And this is so crucial that you do because a lot of us, we sell ourselves short because we think, oh, I want that mansion in LA, but will I be able to have it? What makes me good enough to have it? Disregard that. It doesn't matter. Think about it as an exercise in daydreaming. Like, think about it as you can have anything that you want. What would you want? Almost fantasize. That's it. Number two, define the known parameters that would bridge the gap between your current reality and that reality you want to get to. Or maybe even a milestone between here and then. And we did that through here. So, you know, if your goal is to have a million dollar a year business or a million dollar a month business, you've got to get to 50K a month first, right? So how can we get to that next milestone that seems a little bit far out of reach, but it's also within reach. Those are the perfect milestones, by the way. And number three, set guidelines and not deadlines. A lot of people we discussed set deadlines and it's do or die, but I've never found those to be effective. It just puts too much pressure on you. You have to put the right amount of pressure on you. Pressure is important. Pressure creates diamonds, but only the right amount. Okay. So with that, I conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I apologize if this was like you heard me cough in the middle. I've just been recovering from the flu. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought of this. If there's any video ideas that you have, I hope you guys had an awesome restful holiday. And uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell there so you're notified of any new video that I put out. And also I'm excited to announce if you'd like to work closer together with me and my team in our Reality Mastery program. Uh, our application our spots are open for a consult, so click on the link in the description below to apply to see if you qualify. Unfortunately, we can't let anyone into our program. We're very, very selective about who we work with. We really want to make sure that we get you results. So that's why we have such, a, such an intense ap application and interview process. So you can click on the link in the description below to sign up, see if we can help. Who we typically work with are people who are entrepreneurs and business owners who are stuck at a certain revenue level. You want to scale up, but you're seeing that it's not a tactical strategic problem because you've tried the different tactics and strategies and they're not working. But it's really an internal problem. Who you are and how you think is the problem. That's got to change if you want to make more money, if you want to change your life, right? And uh, if you'd like to access our free Facebook group, that's open for you to join as well. The link for that is also in the description. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Till next time. Peace.